From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. In the novel 1984, George Orwell famously claimed, he who controls the past controls the future. Despite the assured tone of most school textbooks, history is very much a work in progress. Each year, new revelations modify our understanding of the past. For example, recent discoveries in Siberia have uncovered an entirely different type of ancient human, the Denisovan. This archaic human has been called a cousin to the Neanderthal and bred with Homo sapiens. Today, Denisovan DNA survives in the native population of Papua New Guinea. This has forced scholars to revise some of their previous ideas of ancient history, working this new knowledge into a more accurate understanding of the past. In this case, historical revision is a positive force. But historical revision is not always for the sake of accuracy. Over centuries of civilization, political forces have often attempted to revise history to reflect or support their current policies and aims. In these cases, acts of revision may distort history, fabricate or omit certain events entirely. This method can be tremendously successful, but how often does it occur? Here's where it gets crazy. History has been continually revised, and it's not always a matter of ancient history such as measuring the progress of early man. This consistent reassessment is healthy and crucial to our modern understanding of the past. Otherwise, millions of U.S. schoolchildren would still believe that Christopher Columbus discovered America. But how often are historical events purposefully distorted, omitted, or fabricated? That's a matter of intense concern. Some of the most egregious attempts at rewriting history have occurred in the recent past or are ongoing today. Different cultures interpret the past in contradictory ways. Consider the long-standing disagreements between Japan, Korea, and China regarding Japan's actions during World War II. And it's no secret that some people have attempted to rewrite history to support their own prejudices, such as various groups who attempt to cover up atrocities like the Armenian Genocide or the Holocaust. Some groups contend that historical revision is occurring on unprecedented levels. For example, members of the 9-11 Truth Movement believe the mainstream media of the United States is attempting to cover up or deny evidence that contradicts the official 9-11 narrative. And partisan politics often bring accusations of historical revision. For example, polemical American scholar Sam Blumenfeld believed that the American education system was purposefully twisted to lead the American public into socialism, and numerous domestic religious groups believe that the U.S. government has been unfairly secularizing the history of the United States. If the U.S. is the victim of dishonest historical revision, then why would this occur? In conspiracy theories, the blame is often traced back to some immensely powerful, shadowy group, one both powerful enough to influence millions of people and subtle enough to avoid leaving any evidence of interference. It's highly implausible that such a group could exist without being detected, but it's likewise implausible that every accusation of historical revision is a myth. Perusing the school textbooks of nations in conflict easily shows just how widely official understandings of history can diverge. So where does this leave us? When addressing cases of historical revision, it's vital to understand the intent of the authors, scholars, and experts involved. Have the narratives changed to reflect more accurate research or simply to omit the stuff they don't want you to know? Two and two make five. True. No. 
and not to know. Forget and forget that you've forgotten. Double think. Crime stop. Ignorance is strength. <laughs>